They actually did it. Duke Nukem Forever has shipped. So, on this commemorative LGC episode 17, we're going to do a quick and dirty how-to on installing the original Duke Nukem 3D with HRP 5.0. Let's go. is a copy of Duke Nukem 3D. Instead of digging around in my basement for the better part of today, I'm going to good old games. It's only $5.99. Now, next up, we're going to need to download eduke32, which is the open source version of the Duke Nukem engine. It's available on most platforms, Windows, two different apt repositories, Mac, but I like to build it from source. So I'm going to pick out the latest snapshot and download the tar.bz. And the last bit is the high resolution pack known as the HRP. You can get that at hrp.dukeful.net. Let's go to the download section. What you want is the HRP 5.0 zip file, not the full SFX. So, we see I have all three downloaded. The Duke 32 engine, the good old games, and the Polymer pack, which is the HRP pack. Let's start by extracting eduke32. I'm just going to dump this on the desktop for right now. Okay. I have everything here. I'm just going to open up a terminal and compile it. Okay, we're done with that. Up next, we need to install Duke Nukem. Since my exe is on the desktop, just going to run wine star.exe, since that is the only exe file on my desktop right now. And this is going to default install into your basic Wine home directory. You do not want to launch the game. Let's exit and pay a visit to our wine directory. And for me, that's going to be in my home directory under dot wine. Drive C, program files, and GOG.com, Duke Nukem 3D. We will need two files, that's it. Duke3D.grp and Duke.rts. So, we're going to copy those two, or in this case, move them, to the directory where we've decompressed eduke32. Okay, everything's in place. All that's left is to extract the polymer. And we're going to extract that directly into the eduke32 folder. Now let's open a terminal, and we should be ready to go. Execute eduke32, and have fun. 